you people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. In the world of witchcraft where symbolism and ancient wisdom intertwine, there are few creatures so mystical and as enchanting as the snake. These creatures have long been associated with magic, transformation and enchantment. So in today's video, I want to delve into the symbolism of snakes and how you might use them in your witchcraft. Snakes are considered as guardians of ancient wisdom and as witchcraft. such, they symbolise the knowledge that is hidden deep within the earth or within the other realms. So we can use snakes to help guide us towards that wisdom. And one of the most powerful forms that a snake may take is in the Ouroboros. An Ouroboros is a snake eating its own tail and it is shown to be an eternal creature because it goes round and round. The Ouroboros was used in snake alchemy, so it symbolised the transformation from base metals into gold. This is the highest transformation that you could make with alchemy. And also they involved the harmony between the masculine and the feminine. So therefore you can use the snake symbolism, the Ouroboros symbolism that they're so keen on in alchemy to turn base elements into spiritual gold and transform your inner energy. death and rebirth when they're in this Roboros form. And this can help witches to shed their old patterns of belief and transform, creating new paths along their journey. So working with snakes inspires witches and empowers witches to navigate the ever-changing ideas that come of us and grow stronger in their path. What this means in reality is that you would use a snake as part of your spells and you would use that symbolism within it. For example, I have a very beautiful brass snake here which was given to me by Copatist Wu. And if you'd like to see their incredible snake-inspired gifts and jewellery, do go to their site and there you can receive 15% off with my code GINNY15. I'll link it all down in the description below for you. But have a look, they've got some pretty cool stuff, I have to say. Snakes by their form tend to represent the divine feminine. Now, this is great if you're a female or female identifying witch, as you can use this to deeply connect within you to that divine feminine. The snake literally embodies creativity, intuition and the essential life force within us. And so if you use this powerful magnetic type of energy in your spells, you're going to really find results that resonate with that divine feminine energy within you. And this also helps us connect with mother nature. As snakes are known to be above and below, they connect us with all those elements, the hidden and that within the light too. And so you can use that energy in a really powerful way in witchcraft. Often snakes have been known to act as guides. If you use the snake symbolism within meditation, this can help move you into those realms of the occult. So you can perform greater transformations in the astral plane. So for example, I would suggest using a snake style guided meditation in order to move you forward into the world of the occult. This will help you open your third eye and make you feel safe because the greatest use that a snake has is of protection and healing. Um, if you think of the doctor symbolism that they use, it is a snake on a staff. This is because they are part of our healing process. The way they shed their skins means that we can shed our diseases in the same way. I do know several people who have snakes as their spirit animal guide and I'm quite jealous with this because the snake is so protective and coils about them, protecting them, curing them, healing them and helping them in a very loving and secure manner. 
you can call as a witch upon this purifying energy and use it when you're cleansing your home or, to sit, or simply if you're using a sage stick around your home. If you use it in the form of a snake's trail, if you know what I mean, you know, that wonderful side to side trailing pattern, that will bring in this protection and cleansing and healing from the sage. As a witch and you delve deeper within your craft, snake symbolism will help remind you of your transformative power from within so that you can really bring about the change needed to push you forward as a witch. Ouroboros and snake symbolism really are the tapestry that weaves witchcraft together and so I thoroughly recommend using them as part of your everyday craft. Snakes are also great to whisper your secrets to. For example, snakes are the guardians of ancient wisdom. And so if you talk to your snakes and tell them the secrets of your craft or the secrets that you need to tell, and all secrets should be told, you will find your burden hard. They're great for all sorts of things. I do love snakes. I do love the beauty of them. And we've got a lot of snakes around me at the moment. We've got a lot of grass snakes and slow worms, which are sort of a snake, not really, but mostly grass snakes. And they're so elegant and so beautiful. And I just love the, you know, the way that they move and slide. And I mean, they're such great creatures. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Don't forget that my Patreon meeting is coming up in a week or so. Do go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherill. Do go to Copper Twist to see all of their snake products and varying others. They've got some good stuff out there. And don't forget to use my code for 15% off of Ginny15. Otherwise, I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next week.